Okay, apologies gents, I got cut off in that last part of the video that I was working on. Um, so I was telling you about removing some of the construction lines that we've used. Um, so again, here on the arms, I can start to take away some of these hairy sort of lines that have appeared. You can see here on the back of the meerkat, all right, I've added a bit of chunk for its arm, but you wouldn't probably actually see some of these lines. So I'll probably just take away that line. I may add a little bit more fur onto the back of him there because he didn't have as much of a dip in his back. And around here in the shoulder area as well and just here on the chest. And he's got a little bit of a line you can see here. So I can keep a slight bit of line. And take this bit just away from the nose. Refine the ear a little bit. And yeah, so far, I'm happy with what we have. So yeah, this is the very basic start um, to the meerkat shape. I'm hoping that the fact that I've used simple shapes and have broken it down for you to see how I've actually built up the picture. Now you can do this with any sort of animal if you want to start off something with a little bit more, you know, something a little bit more basic. You could look at something like a turtle, a tortoise or something like that. You could even look at something like an ant or um, some sort of insect. Uh, but what I suggest is, even though it may seem quite complicated, just break it down, break it down into simple shapes, see what you can see. So here, remember I said to you before, this was like an ellipse, but in this sort of shape here, and then another sort of like standing up ellipse, okay? So don't forget again, things like just using lines to work out the shape of the animal itself, like the, you know, the limbs, etc. All those sorts of things are all really useful and helpful to use. Um, because it seems that when a lot of you draw from an image, you'll start, you know, at the top or the bottom or whatever, but then you just try and draw it straight away. So you can see people where they'll start to like draw the nose, etc. I mean, I, I can't even do it like this. Draw it like this and then onto the shoulders, etc. You know, even I'm trying to sketch it a little bit, but that's still quite wrong and then they start to add details up here in the mouth etc and you know it starts to look a little bit ridiculous already so if, for me it's a, it's a lot easier and more effective this technique of simplifying the shapes first building up the scale and the proportion of the animal or object that you're drawing from before you actually start to add any sort of detail regarding texture any sort of shading so yeah I hope this was easy for you to follow and I'm looking forward to seeing some of your results.